Okay, so how you answer this question is going to depend on your math score. Uh, and I mean that in kind of like your score determines your strategy rather than the other way around, which is like, yes, if you get this right or wrong, that's going to help determine your score. But if you are scoring anything less than, I would say 700, maybe even 750 in math, then uh, you're probably going to need to do this a little bit of a longer way because you shouldn't trust yourself. But if you are already scoring 750 pretty consistently, you hopefully know how to build an equation that has these properties because you know the circle formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we can take this information and basically just plug points into equations, except instead of plugging in for the x and the y, we're plugging in for everything else, the other pieces of this thing. So the radius of 5 is going to square to get 25. So that gets rid of these two. And then the signs for the two center pieces are going to flip. So the negative 8, even though that is the h value, when we put it in, the negative and that's there and the negative that's there are going to make a positive. So that's going to be plus 8 and that's b and that's the answer. So if you are Again, 700 and above, maybe 750 and above, uh, if we're being a little bit more conservative, then you should be looking at this question and getting the answer within three seconds very confidently and not really looking back. Just know you are so good at knowing this stuff that you're able to move on. If your score is less than 700, certainly, you're, again, you're not as good at math as you think you are. It's something I say very often. And this is a case where you just throw it in Desmos and, and you can be sure, right? So take what you thought. If you thought that B was right, then just type it in X plus eight squared um, plus Y minus six squared equals 25. And then just look at it. Does it seem like what they were saying, right? Is the center, is the center negative eight, six? Yeah. Negative eight, kind of is my x coordinate there and then well halfway between 11 and 1 would be you know uh, uh, basically 6 5 greater than 1 so there you go that makes sense and then we can also see the radius is 5 because that's a diameter of 10 so we have just looking at it you can kind of tell so that extra step of going to desmos i think is you know again dependent on where your current math scores are if you are below 700 you you are making mistakes in places where Maybe your memory isn't as good as you think it is, and you should use Desmos when you can to save those points. I would rather you take another 20 seconds typing this into Desmos and be sure you've gotten this right, rather than racing through to get to those hard questions at the end that you might get wrong anyway. So these are the ones to save the points on first. If you're constantly making mistakes on stuff in the middle of the sections, then you're wasting points. Focus on that first, then worry about the hard ones later.